Hello, this is Shiley with the Meadow Hill News. And I'm Adam. This just in, NASA scientists are tracking a UFO that has just entered the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is a layer of gases around our Earth. It mostly contains nitrogen and oxygen. It also contains dust particles, cloud droplets, and weather. That's right, Adam. I'm getting an update. The craft is now nearing the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere contains most of Earth's water. The water is made of oceans, glaciers, lakes, rivers, groundwater, and water vapors. If the aliens hit hard enough, we will have a huge tsunami, and the world will come to an end. Because of this, people are living on their roofs and using boats to get from roof to roof. For more information, we go now to the shore of the hydrosphere. Thank you, Shiley. This is Abby. I'm reporting live where the aliens have just plunged deep into the hydrosphere. We are unable to see the craft. We are unsure of their intentions at this time. However, whoa! We are experiencing some serious seismic activity over here. Let's talk to Detective Gray about seismic activity. Hi, I'm Detective Gray, and here's my assistant, Ralph Do. Raleigh Dupra, also known as Deputy Dupra. How Seismic you doing? Thank you, Raleigh. <laughs> seismic activity is when earthquakes occur and produce seismic waves. These are waves that scientists study with travel through Earth. I wonder if this has anything to do with the UFO. Sure does, Abby. The police station power has just gone out because of the earthquakes. How can we track the UFO now? I don't know, Detective. Anyhow, we'll get more information on MHMS News. Thank you, Johnny Cruz. For more strange news, is pouring in as we go live on the field with Ms. Zillywinkle, who is, in, who is wis witnessing some huge constructive forces. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was too busy looking at this mountain that was just created. I'm standing where a mountain has spontaneously been created. I've never seen anything like this. The plate tectonics are really shifting. Constructive forces are the forces that build up land masses, mountains, trenches, volcanoes. Wait, not trenches, that's destructive forces. Land, islands, yeah. Plate tectonics are the slow movement of Earth's plates that build up mountains and that cause earthquake, earthquakes, trenches, and etc. The lithosphere is the first layer of the mantle. It is a stiff layer of solid rock. Sounds like my mother's fruit cake. I really don't know what could it cause this. Normally a mountain is, is created over millions of years. I would have wrinkles and white hair by then. Wow, that is incredible. We're trying to get to the core of this. No one has seen it, the alien spacecraft reappear from the hydrosphere, but geologists have a theory of what's behind these natural disasters. For more, we go now to our resident Earth scientist, Mr. Rupert. Thank you, Mr. Rupert. I believe the spaceship is disrupting the Earth's core and is causing these bizarre events. The core is below the Earth's mantle. Hot in here. Is there is two parts of the core, the outer core and the inner core. The outer core is 2,258 kilometers thick and is made of molten metal. Surrounding the inner core, you may find lava bugs, lava fish, and lava llamas swimming throughout the outer core. The outer core is a liquid despite the pressure. Inside the outer core is a dense ball of solid metal made of nickel and iron called the inner core. It is 1,222 kilometers thick. Inside the inner core is a portal leading to the heart of the universe, which is guarded by Phil Knight, the science guy. Hi. Phil, 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 Phil Knight, the science guy. And Lava Llama is powered by Pikachu. Pika. He also helps with experiments. The aliens are trying to get to the portal in the inner core and abduct Phil Knight, the science guy. Order him to take the, an army of lava llamas painted pink and steal the heart of the universe and use it to power the super toaster of destruction. Well, this is not good for the biosphere. Shiley, signing off. See you all tomorrow if you're not all dead. And this is Adam, signing off. 
Have a nice day. Ah! Oh, I mean, oh!